Now we'll discuss titrations. Titration is a procedure where you slowly and methodically add a solution of known concentration to an unknown in order to analyze the qualities and characteristics of that unknown. First, we'll go through some of the basic principles of titration. The first thing is that you always titrate with a strong member of the opposite species. So whether you're titrating a weak acid or a strong acid, you will be adding to it a strong base like NaOH or something like that. If you're doing a redox titration, you will add a strong oxidizing agent to a highly or moderately reduced species. But if you're trying to analyze a reduced species, you must be adding a strong oxidizing agent. And if you're trying to analyze an acid, you must be adding a strong base and so on. Titrations often use the term equivalent. And what equivalent is, it's the amount of an acid that will supply you with one mole of protons or the amount of base that will react with one mole of protons. So if you have one mole of HCl, that is considered an acid equivalent because that will yield one mole of protons. If you have half a mole of carbonic acid, H2CO3, then that also qualifies as a equivalent of acid because of the fact that within this half mole of carbonic acid, there are exactly one mole of protons that will be yielded. Similarly, a base equivalent could be one mole of NaOH or half a mole of something like CaOH2 because that half mole will supply an entire mole of OH- that can react with and essentially consume a mole of protons. A few words that come up only with titrations are the analyte. The analyte is just the compound that is being analyzed. It's the unknown, and you might hear the analyte as the thing that is being titrated. The titrant is the species that you add to titrate that analyte. So if you're adding NaOH to an acidic solution, then the titrant is the NaOH, and the acidic solution is the analyte. And finally, titrations are typically depicted on graphs, and so we'll be going through a few examples of different titration graphs you might see, and some of the very important points in those graphs.